So we're super excited about the, the new facility, the Atrium Health Levine Cancer Proton and Advanced Radiation Facility. It will be the first gamma knife in the Charlotte region. It will be the first proton facility in the Carolinas. It will expand our capabilities of infusional radiopharmaceuticals, which is an expanding area of radiation to allow treatment of three very different ways, but really either being first or only or expanding capabilities. So for us, it's hard to be more excited about the new the new opportunities that we'll have. Gamma knife therapy uh, is a form of radiation that is highly focused. Uh, the gamma knife is one way to treat patients with focused radiation therapy. The most common indication for gamma knife is, is tumor spread to the brain or something called brain metastases. Um, other tumors of the brain, benign tumors, meningiomas, malignant tumors, uh, glioblastomas. So basically all brain tumors can be considered for gamma knife. Some conventional radiation is, is a better choice, at least at this point, and maybe a later gamma knife comes in, but gamma knife is a treatment inside the brain. It starts with a simulation on the gamma knife. And by a simulation, I mean, we'll bring someone in, we'll place them on the table, we'll put a, a pillow that we custom form to their head, we'll make a mask over their face that custom forms to their face, and then on treatment day, we'll bring them back. Those will already be made. We'll lay them on the table, we'll put the mask on, We'll do a, a scan of their head, which is, we call it a cone beam CT. It's just an, an image that we take. We try to make it as quick for the patient as possible. Um, so that way they're not in the mask for any longer than they absolutely have to be. And then the treatments will occur and these treatments are invisible to the patient. So they won't feel it, they won't hear it, they won't taste it, they won't smell it. A treatment can take anywhere from 30 minutes to maybe a little bit over an hour. And then they'll get up and, and, and be done with the treatment for that day. And those treatments may be a single treatment or maybe a series of up to five treatments. Multidisciplinary care cannot happen effectively for patients and for systems and for doctors and, and everyone else involved unless the teams collaborate seamlessly to have the patient have a great and efficient experience. This will just be yet another example of, of that collaboration that is all put together to help patients. This particular device is unique in that it is dedicated to treatment of brain lesions. There is no other device in this region that allows for that. Some people will say it's just another radiation tool. I would beg to differ. It is unique to this space and only the largest centers, and I would like to say the most sophisticated centers in the country can and should be using this type of device. It'll be the only center in North or South Carolina that offers proton therapy. And it's not just proton therapy, it's actually the most advanced form of proton therapy, which is something called pencil beam scanning. And so not every proton center is able to perform that same level of sophistication. And this is gonna help our patients that are the most vulnerable for radiation side effects, such as those with pediatric cancer, or patients who have uh, tumors in places where that we would consider high risk. And so proton therapy is something that can really be a game changer to help uh, both maximize cure, but also maximize patients, you know, quality of life once they've been cured after we finish the treatment. Protons are a different physical way of giving radiation. It's a charged particle, so it has different physical properties. The dose can deposit over a window, meaning it comes in with almost zero, all the dose, and then almost zero on the backside. And so the best example of that is, and there's some pediatric malignancies where you have to treat the entire spine. Right? And so you might imagine when you're treating the whole spine that there's all these important organs in front of the spine. And so with photons, conventional treatment, you can do it in a sophisticated way and, and better than you could 20 years ago, but still there's a lot of exit dose that goes forward and treats the heart, the lungs, the esophagus, lots of stuff. But with protons, the beam can stop. So we can have a sharp edge at the vertebral body or the, at the spine itself. So we don't have to treat the heart, the lungs, the kidneys, all those things, liver, don't get radiation to nearly the same extent. And so that may not matter so much for, for some patients, but for pediatric patients in particular, it's this huge advantage, this giant leap forward. We have children who are constantly growing, who are at risk for lots of side effects related to the therapies that they get. The hope, and what we've seen previously at, at uh, other institutions with protons, is that we're gonna be able to minimize some of those long-term side effects by really tightly controlling what we're doing to treat their tumor. I hope that I'm going to see better cognitive, better intellectual, and better development outcomes in my patients in the years to come. It's not only important to treat the tumor, it's important to make sure that that child is able to develop and turn into a healthy, productive member of our society later in life. 
the ability to be able to offer this here in Charlotte is, is a game changer, both for the people in Charlotte, but also the people in the Carolinas, so they don't have to travel across the country to get this. And so it's it's been a long time coming. We, we had conversations about this and 10 years ago, and it really came to fruition in 2020 when the wheels started turning, but this is the end result of years of hard work in order to really bring this to the community. So I'm extremely excited to be able to offer this.